Thank you for having us today. Um, my name is Justin Dickerson. I'm the general manager of Global FinTech for Data Robot. Uh, Data Robot is a uh, automated machine learning company. Uh, we're based in Boston. We've been around since 2012. Uh, we've raised about $125 million through three rounds of financing. Uh, most of our uh, clients um, are using our AI machine learning based technology uh, within the banking, uh, insurance, and fintech uh, industries. And uh, today we are uh, here to talk about how uh, AI and machine learning uh, can make a big difference in digital wealth. I'm going to turn it over to Jonathan Dahlberg, who's our Vice President of uh, Customer Facing Data Science. Good morning. So everybody's heard about AI, data science, machine learning. There are a huge clump of buzzwords out there at this point. The key is that for any of those, you really need to be able to have data scientists on staff who can actually build these models, generate value. What Data Robot does is it makes that process much easier. We're never going to be able to, no matter what anybody tells you, automate away the knowledge and expertise that your team and your business has to offer. What we can do is automate the building of these predictive models. So if you're generating data today, if you have details about who you're talking to and what the success or lack of success may have been, if you're tracking client details in Salesforce or other CRM platforms, you can really apply machine learning. What we want to do is give you a sense of how this works. So from our perspective, we're agnostic to what the actual business value or business problem that you're looking at is. In this case, we're going to actually deal with some prospecting data. This is real world data that comes from Portugal. It's banking data where the goal is to be able to predict when you're reaching out to customers, are they actually going to respond and be interested in what you're offering them? You've always got a huge list of these prospects. You don't have enough time to spend equal amounts with every single one. What machine learning lets you do, focus on those customers that are the most valuable. So a two-stage process. Leverage the data that you have today. Take advantage of all of the information that you're tracking, whether it's notes, whether it's raw numbers, whatever it may be, and generate value from all of that information that you're collecting. To do that, you always need to start with that data set. This is, again, a live demo here. We're taking this raw data. We're uploading this to our hosted solution on Amazon. Anybody can do this. If you are able to use Excel, if you know what you're trying to do in terms of predicting a number, an outcome, whatever it may be, we have teams of people who are able to take advantage of this without needing data scientists. I'm a data scientist. Justin may or may not be. If you have a sales team, any of these people can do this. Now, the key, you have all this data down below. We've got this text data. Where are people working? Are they married? What are they actually doing in terms of the economic background? All of this information, this is the point of machine learning. Take advantage of it and don't just try out one or two of these things. Find out what's going to work best. You upload data like this. You specify what you actually want to predict. Are these people going to subscribe? This is one data set or one problem out of many. Once you upload the data, you specify what you want to predict and press the Start button, Data Robot takes care of the rest. So when doing this, all these things here on the right, we're going to see that there's going to be about 60 models that are getting built and generated. If I was doing this on my own, I would try one or two. There's no way that you can actually do all of this, even if you're a data scientist. So whether you, again, have people on the team who are comfortable in Excel, if they're comfortable with all of the different things out there today, it doesn't matter. Data Robot accelerates this process and makes it easy to, again, generate value from the data that you're collecting. On the right here, you can see these little symbols. These are models coming from Google TensorFlow. These little yellow and blue things, they're coming from actual Python models. We're generating and building all of these models on our system. So you don't need to have all of these things installed on your personal computers. The point is to be able to, again, take advantage of the cutting edge algorithms out there without needing a cutting edge data scientist on your team. So as these are finishing up, they're all being put onto the same place. For the sake of this demo and the time that we have, I'm going to switch to a finished project. But in the time that we actually finish talking, this will have all completed. The sense of what this looks like, we end up with all of these different models on this leaderboard here, where each of these things, again, if I was doing this on my own, would take minutes, hours, days, depends on the complexity of the individual approach. The point here, though, because you get to test and really pit these against each other, you get to find what's going to work best for your individual problem. 
When you do that, right now we have all of this historical data. We know what's worked in the past and what hasn't. When we have a new list of potential customers, when we're looking at a new portfolio in terms of managing it, when you're taking that data from Salesforce and saying whether a new deal is going to close or not, any one of these things lets you make predictions on that extent. What you can also do, understand how those are being made. We don't want this to be a black box. It's fully transparent. So whether it's specifics around, we looked at that employer title, you can always generate insights here. In this case, at least in Portugal, if you're trying to sell to people who work for a bank or the county, this blue, this means that that's a bad idea. It's less likely to happen. The red, if you're selling to someone who is in a tech company or a center for learning or something like that, a much better prospect. This is giving you a sense of how your data is getting used. But across the board, if you're gathering small amounts of data, big data, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. You can start applying machine learning and actually generate, again, predictions that give you value. When you're dealing with a new list of customers, when I go to any of these models here, back to the screen, I can open this up and look at more details. But the key is, when you're actually making these predictions, this is one example of one person here. We're saying they're 88% likely to actually be receptive to this offer. And on top of that, we're not just giving you that number and saying, take us on just face value. We're letting you know why that's occurring. The fact that the Eurobor is so much lower than it may be normally, that you've been reaching out to these people for the last week, and that previously you've had success selling other products to them, these are all details that you can take advantage of. The key is that whether it's this specific prospecting example where you're doing marketing, whether it's again looking at your sales pipeline and funnel, whether you're looking at the portfolio and what products a customer may be more interested in, all of these types of things are amenable to machine learning. And with Data Robot, you can actually take advantage again of what the information you've been collecting says without needing to hire a hard to find data scientist or keep them on staff. The key here to this point, if you don't know how to program, if you don't know the ins and outs of stats, you haven't been able to really apply machine learning. With Data Robot, as long as you can upload this data, as long as you know what you're trying to do and can apply your expertise, you can actually start to apply all of those buzzwords in practicality. You don't need to worry, again, about the difference between a TensorFlow neural network or a regression or a tree-based model. Data Robot takes care of that. Our goal, unlock machine learning for everyone actually be able to leverage this in an automated fashion so that you don't need to worry about really anything outside of just knowing what you want to predict. So we're over in the hall over there. Please stop by. We're happy to go into more details about problems you're looking at or about anything that you'd like to see in more detail about the features or other uh, accessibility here. Thank you.